What's up everyone, Manny from Motor Million here. I wanted to make a revisited video for this beautiful 2020 BMW S1000 RR that we have here. We finally got all the parts for it. The bike was only a couple months old when we built it. And now it's almost been a year since this bike is out and everything we wanted for the bike is here installed and it is looking beautiful. Right off the bat, you might notice the biggest change or one of the biggest changes are these OZ Racing Cativa RSA wheels. We did away with the carbon fiber wheels because there were so many issues with it and cracking and we wanted to stay on the safe side. These wheels are made for the World Superbike team so they're not magnesium, they're forged aluminum and they only weigh half a pound more than the carbon wheels and that's in total. It is actually really cool that we're able to keep the weight down and go to a, another wheel than the carbon wheels that was on the bike. Also, we have this beautiful full six carbon fiber belly pan in and we installed that just last night. If you notice, we're able to keep the motorsport theme with that belly pan. We we're able to reuse the stickers that were on the factory lower side fairings. Also looking at the side, you're gonna notice this beautiful exhaust cam by Termignoni. So this is running a Kropovich headers and mid pipe. It is the only setup that we've tested so far that has improved the power of the bike. Every other header and mid pipe combo we use on these bikes have lost power. And we've coupled it with the Termignoni's S002 GP Shorty. The cool thing about this is that this piece that you see right here, this is CNC machined aluminum. And you have the option of removing the mesh if you don't like the mesh look and it comes with a DB killer. So most of these little shorty exhaust systems don't come with DB killers. This has a removable one. Of course, we removed it. I'll start the bike for you guys to hear it. And another feature of it is that if you see here, it has a reducer pipe. Apparently, according to Termignoni, this reducer pipe creates a little more back pressure because of these short cans lose so much of the back pressure that it helps that mid-range power that supposedly you lose, but we haven't seen any of that with this. It could be do this clever reducer pipe. And let's walk around the bike. It looks so good with all the carbon and everything else. Also, when we first made the video of this bike, we didn't have these T-Drive rotors. Now the T-Drives are available for the 2020 S1000RRs. We have the GP4 MS Brembo calipers on the bike with the brake cooling ducts. One thing also we've changed is the windscreen. This is the WRS double bubble windscreen. These are now the windscreens used by the official BMW World Superbike team. They are absolutely indestructible. There are videos of people jumping on them and they don't crack. What you want to look at a windscreen is a clear field of vision. There's absolutely no distortion in that windscreen and it is made in Italy by WRS. Also right up front we have the NRC turn signals now this bike didn't have that last time we showed you guys this bike these these parts are finally available let me show you guys how it works and how bright that is they're all leds no error codes on the dash when you install them simple plug and play setup we have the Gilly stooling steering stem nut right up front we have the rizoma brake reservoir with a tigon tubing and also if you look over here that's the stall bus bleeder valve the cool thing about this is you don't have to tighten the bleeder valve between pumping the brakes. All you do is you crack this open, you keep pumping and it won't let air back in because there is a check valve inside. And that's installed on the Brembo Corsa Corta 17 RCS. This bike has a 17 RCS because of the calipers I showed you earlier. What you wanna do is that you wanna match the piston size in your master cylinder to the piston sizes in your calipers. That caliper calls out for a 17 RCS Corsa Corta. If you have a stock brake setup and you wanna upgrade your master cylinder, you're gonna be using a 19 RCS. And of course we have our TWM gas cap, press, quarter turn, and you're ready to fill up. Put it back in and it's locked in place. Right down here, you have our lightweight rear rotor by MM Racing. This bike has a 520 sprocket conversion kit, has the Geely's tooling rear sets. We also have the black Samco hoses. We opted for black so that there's not too much color going on. We just wanted to keep the motorsport theme popping out. That's why we kept these stickers as I showed you earlier. The GB Racing case cover kit is also on this bike. And I want to show you if I could get in here. We've also installed the Olin's steering damper. It is such a big improvement on the front end feel of these bikes with that adjustable damper. And right down here, we have the RNG Aero frame sliders. They have that aerodynamic look that's why they're called aero and they offer such good protection so all in all this is the updated video of this gorgeous 2020 s1000 rr let me start it for you because i know everyone's been asking for us to start the bikes it is a cold start so let's see
So there you have it guys. We also have a video of the sound clip of this bike. I'm not gonna really try to rev it too high. On that video, you could get a better sense of the sound of this exhaust system. Also, the bike has a brand tuning flash. As you saw, it was a dead cold start and the idle is silky smooth on this bike. And as always, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to our channel for more content just like this and more. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching.